Hello friends, welcome back. This summer season, I have really enjoyed a good harvest from my tiny kitchen garden. I had okras, eggplants, bitter gourd, chilies, and of course, what I really had in abundance, as always, uh, has been tomatoes. I grew a lot of cherry tomatoes and tomatoes on the vine. I just love them and I have been using generously in all my cooking. And the dish that I am doing today is also going to use tomatoes generously and they all have come from my kitchen garden. So they are fresh and ready to be used. The dish that I am doing today is basically boiled eggs cooked in uh, a thick uh, tomato and onion gravy. It's simple, it's easy and it's a perfect dish for a weekday. We all struggle with time on a weekday. So if you are a working person, I think this recipe is just the right one for you. So if you all are ready, let's start. Here comes the list of ingredients that you require for this recipe. I am beginning here by boiling the eggs. You can see there are eight large eggs that I've taken. I'm adding a pinch of salt so that the eggs don't crack while boiling. So while the eggs boil, we'll start uh, chopping the onions. I have a large and a medium sized onion here. So there you go, chop, 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 chop. We want long slices. And next I'm taking the tomatoes. You can see there are six medium sized uh, tomatoes that I'm going to start chopping. Again here is the same, we want long slices over here. And chop, 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 chop. It's done. I'm going to leave this one uh, tomato because I feel five uh, is good enough. Next, we'll start slicing the eggs. I have this little tool that helps me in uh, chopping uh, the eggs evenly. Uh, there you go. So I really love this tool. It makes it so much simple. But if you don't have this one, please use a knife to uh, cut even slices. There you are. Look how even they are. So all the eggs have been sliced. Next, we'll start to cook. And in a pan, heat three to four uh, tablespoons of cooking oil, and then add the sliced onions. I'm using sweet onions here, but you can use uh, red onion or yellow onions, whatever is your preference. Cook them for three to four minutes, and once they start to turn translucent, Go ahead and add the tomatoes. Oh, look at that color. I just love this red color. And tomatoes are my real favorite. I love them in all my veggies. So we are going to cook the two together till the tomatoes soften. So it may take you four to five minutes. There you go, you can see. The tomatoes are beginning to soften and we can see a thick sauce beginning to form with all those juices coming out of the tomatoes and you can see the onions are taking on the color of tomatoes if you're still watching the video please do not forget to like subscribe and also share with your friends so when your tomatoes are almost done go ahead and add salt yeah do this as per your taste and then add three tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Yes, we need that. I love ketchup. Follow this up with one tablespoon of sriracha sauce and one teaspoon of granulated sugar. Mm. Next, give them a nice mix. Uh, the sriracha sauce is going to bring the heat that we need and the tomato ketchup and sugar will balance out with its sweetness. So cook this until it's reduced to a thick consistency and then your sauce is ready. Next we'll start assembling. So take the serving bowl and place the sauce at the bottom. Once you've covered the bottom with the sauce, place the sliced eggs. Yeah, look at that. It's looking so, so delicious. Now there's no hard and fast that you have to start with the tomato sauce at the bottom. You can start with the eggs, but I like to do it this way because it gives a nice base to the eggs and it's easy to scoop them out. So once we have laid the layer of eggs, go ahead and place the sauce on top of it. Yeah. So make sure to save uh, some more because we're going to Put another layer of eggs 
there you go so once you have completed all the eggs go ahead and add the sauce at the top yes this is the final three slices and then garnish it with fresh coriander leaves yeah it not only adds color but it adds flavor too and now it's ready to be served okay let's enjoy it now oh look at that scoop mm, can't wait to eat so i hope you all enjoyed watching this uh, video thank you for watching and do come back for more see ya